big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard on the job, you can see that. On my head is real good, we don't need your feedback. They clear the way with my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the rings. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the rings. Now what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the rings. Yeah. Beats, leave it in the street, case on the news. What I do? Lace up my shoes, chase W's. Great colored coops. Oh no, no, I can't be number two. MVP the league most valuable. They sweet as apple juice. Talking trophies, I didn't grab the few. Can't match this attitude. I wear my heart on my sleeve, please. I move like the wind, can't catch this breeze, freeze. Stop you in your tracks, there's not no preseason. We seeking W's like Tupac used to throw up. Forget it, might as well forfeit your team, shouldn't even show up. What you wanna be when you grow up? They used to ask me. Naturally, I chose an athlete. Competition never matched me. We ain't go together. Like camouflage and polka dots. Focus on your position, just know your spot. Sure don't stop, it's a long season. They planning on winning for the wrong reasons. With a December snow blanketing much of the Midwest and Northeast, what a perfect time to be in the Sunshine State as we welcome you to TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville, Florida. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Houston Texans and the Jacksonville Jaguars. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. to the 27 give him four yards four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage second down when we see those runs to the perimeter when we see those runs to the edge we think about big breakers don't we in this case it was a modest gain but it does open up possibilities here on second down from the 27 Watson he finds Hopkins complete 16 yards on that one and also a Texan first down and there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Looking to throw on second down. Watson, it's complete. Stills. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now Watson in the heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 45, and he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. They were ball hawks last week. They had a trio of interceptions on defense in the first drive. They pick up right where they left off. They're creating quite a reputation for themselves, aren't they? And sometimes what happens is when they know that the defense can take the ball away as they saw the, the previous week, now you try too hard to not let them take it away, and you force yourself into errors. They've intimidated them, in a sense, and gotten the ball from them. To throw on second down, Fields. And he's able to find Wallace. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. <laughs> the beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Diluting the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. 
From the gun on third down, Fields. And that will be incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender is making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. Third and two, Watson. Flushed out right. Then he's got the completion to Hopkins. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Miles Jack. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, when you start thinking of guys that are in the mix for Defensive Player of the Year, I think you use him as Exhibit A. Maybe he's not the leading guy right now, but he's at least on the periphery and deserves to be in the discussion. And because of that, he's looking at a game today where in order to make that big move and maybe become the guy, he needs multiple takeaways, multiple big plays, things that get our attention and reverberate for weeks to come. Throwing on first down, Fields. He's got a rifle one deep left side, and that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Out of the pistol, it's for them. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. The Texans here on third down, putting an extra defender in the secondary. Mike, 41, Mike, 41. Watch the run, watch the run. Hey, 41's Mike, 41's Mike. Looking to throw. Fields escaping the pressure right. Complete to his tight end, set the valve. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville and a first down. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Fournette, a first down carry. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other back. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Hindsight is 20-20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Back to throw. Fields. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Well, it's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. Throwing on third and long. Fields. 
And the throw there going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. He's going to wind up and air it out. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Sidney Jones. They were looking for Johnson that time. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. But what do you think? You get the ball off the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here in the first play. You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position after a turnover. I feel like I might have a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot, but a lot of coaches will tell you you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hands, meaning if it's not there, he won't force it downfield and maybe turn into an interception. He'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 19. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. I'd say it's pretty good strategy. If you throw interceptions on back-to-back -back drives, let's see if the running backs can handle the ball a little bit, get things going, and also, you motivate your offensive line. I think they're in the mood to fire out and hit something. Uh, I thought the defense, though, might be a little more prepared for that run. Pretty good gain on the ground. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. A toss play, Gordon. And the play goes nowhere, losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Brings up second and 11. Who's that? 18. 36. Come to my work. We want it. Come to my work. On second and 11 now. Watson. It. It's complete to Fuller. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open. That makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. Steps away to his left. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Here's Watson. And Stills bringing it in. That throw good for four. It's second down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. No, I don't think so either. I think he had the read. Figured out where the blitz was coming from and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. To throw is Watson. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. We haven't even escaped the first half, and he's already thrown four picks. And Brandon, back in the good old days, probably back before you were born, if your starter threw four in the first half, he might throw eight or more for the game because they weren't going to pull him out 
But nowadays, the patient's level isn't quite there. He's going to have to make some real adjustments, or the backup may see some time. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, Fields. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he completes it to Westbrook. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Operating from the gun, Fields flush to his right. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. The line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. From the gun, Fields, eluding the pressure right toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Lambo is good. And they're able to double their lead just before half. It's 6-0. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. But they will not be able to capitalize as time has run out here on the first half of play. So a couple of field goals, that's all we've been able to muster through two quarters of play. 6-0 is our count at the break. As we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. you got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. They'll run it again with four and a half. Try to turn the corner, but they string him out and stop him at the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. He's got his man. That's Wallace. A gain of 19 in picking up the first. This quarterback now... 8 of 15 through the air, but it's first and 10 here. Operating from the gun, Fields. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Throwing again, Fields. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 40. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. They'll try and get the ground game going. Here's Gordon. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. 
They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. On first and 10, Watson. And nearly another interception. They've been around the ball all game. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. Faking the give. Now Watson. It's complete to Hopkins. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operated. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Trying to get the run game going. This is Fournette. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Flushed out right. Got his man there. It's Wallace complete. That one good for 26 and a first down. And the young buck showing that ability, that agility to dance outside of the pocket, complete the deep ball. And don't think for a second that the coaching staff didn't have their heart rate accelerate a little bit there, right? It's when you have those young quarterbacks and they get outside of the pocket, you're just hoping that they make good decisions because so many things can happen that can go wrong when you throw it downfield like that. He got away with it there and in a big way. On second down, here's Fournette. And he's going to be close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Texans' 43-yard line. He had had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. Check, check. Fredno, Fredno, Fredno. Hey, switch gears, switch gears. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And Fournette trying to power his way forward, but I don't think he got there. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play. And that's going to lead him to fourth down. Too long for a field goal. Too short to punt that in-between range. And they'll go for it on fourth down. You don't want it. They'll go with a big back for it in. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. From the gun, Fields. And he's got his man on the out route. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. So first and 10 now from the 30. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. On first and 10, Fields. 
And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Escaping the pressure right. He'll check this one off to Fournette. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Looking to throw. Fields. This is caught. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Leonard Fournette. Touchdown number 15 of the year. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time, and they'll be looking for a touchdown. We're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Going deep for Hopkins. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And yeah, they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Watson now 11 of 17 passing thus far. He's got his guys a first and 10. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now it's Watson, flush to his right. He's got Fuller. The 20. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. They're still looking for their first touchdown of the game. And for a second, I thought they had it right there. Now looking on the sideline, it's finally good to see nods of approval. It's a welcome sign of life that this offense needed. Here's Gordon. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Throwing on second and eight. Watson eluding the pressure. And this results in six. Touchdown. A 10-yard touchdown run. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Well, the defensive coverage was good, so good he just decided to make a play of his own and it worked out. Yeah, you often wonder if they think to themselves, was the coverage too good to allow him to run the football? I think you'd rather take your chances with him doing exactly that, and he beat them on that play all the way to the end zone. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. I don't want to say that they're completely against the wall here, Charles, but all of a sudden, with the run that they've been on on the other sideline, this is down to a three-point game. They've got to be careful. Not much space from their back to the wall, though. So you're exactly right. They've got to be careful here. But this is where the value of note-taking and recall comes into play. What was working earlier? Why was it working? Can you get those types of matchups again? And can you run those plays that get you a little bit more? It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Jaguars. 
Leonard Fournette, his second TD of the game and 16th on the season. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. And Lambeau now after the this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and taken. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show. Because And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off around the 41, and the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. He was looking that time for Stills. Hmm, just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed and they're showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirts. Yeah, he better figure, whatever the reason is, he better figure it out. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now Leonard Fournette. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. This defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Taking matters into his own hands, and he picks up four yards and a first down. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. That's complete, right around the eight. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. From eight yards out. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. Well, it would be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Let's go. Let's go. The Texans take over first and ten. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Following the sack, it's now third and long for Watson and the Texans. Third and long, it's Watson. He's going to let it fly, and that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up and down. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Minshew, first and ten. That's out to his running back, Fournette. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll make this a second down. 
Throwing again on second down. Minshew to the goal line, but it's incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Minshew throwing on third down. And this will be caught. We'll forget taking the knee. Some late gamesmanship here as they throw for a late touchdown. I've got to laugh here, and I really don't want to because the old school of me is not happy about this score this late, not necessary. But this is Madden, isn't it? Yeah. This, is how, this is how it works. Rub it in. Have a day. I mean, what, what does it matter? These guys. <laughs>